What is good YouTube? Your girl Brie is here. If it's your first time here, welcome to the family. If you have come back and you are here to see what we are talking about today, thank you. You're a real one and I appreciate you. What are we talking about today? We're talking about SPF. We're talking about sunscreen, sun protection factor, but not only just sunscreen. We're talking about a brand who has literally dedicated their whole theme to sunscreen and they have created a new product called Glow Screen, but they also have a product called Unseen. And these are both sunscreens and these are both primers. But what I really wanna get down to is what's the difference between these two? What would make you choose one or the other? Is it your skin type? Is it the finish of the product? Is it how much SPF they have? We're, we're, we're just gonna get into all of it. So if you are interested in hearing how these products wear and what's the difference between these two and are they worth your money? then don't click away. Just don't, just like, just keep watching because the next clip is gonna come right up right now. Okay. okay, so Unseen, which is the one that I really, really like and I have been using. I think this launched like two, three years ago or last year or something like that. It's translucent, super lightweight, a little bit goes a long way. Both of these products say that they help to grip your makeup, which just means that the makeup is gonna really stick to it and it's gonna last longer. It has a silicone kind of blurring consistency and since it's oil-free, I think this is gonna be for all my women who are oil-free, um, have that shine in the T-zone and want SPF coverage. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm gonna swatch it right here. I'm gonna be Unseen on this side. Very lightweight feel and texture. And kind of just smooths and blurs really, really nicely. Both of them have the SPF of 40 and both of these are chemical sunscreens. So they're not physical. Um, they don't have zinc oxide, but they have a avobenzene, oxalate, and octocrylene. And this one, uh, Unseen, has homosalate, so chemical sunscreens. And all that means is that when you're outside, the chemical sunscreen absorbs the sun rays, and then um, as the skin absorbs them, they turn to heat, but it still protects. Let's go to Glow Screen because this launched this year, February. So it's May, it's all good. Beauty products are, can still be talked about, okay? So it doesn't matter that I'm a couple months late. This one, same thing, SPF of 40, but this is more of a hydrating formula. So it's not oil-free like the Unseen. Um, it acts as a luminous makeup primer, whereas they state that Unseen acts as a oil-free, weightless, colorless primer. So oil-free, more hydrating, and a luminous primer. Now, anything glow primer, whether it has SPF or not, I'm always curious how it's going to sit on darker skin. Is it going to warm my skin up or is it going to give me a little bit of an ash? So this reflects really nicely. I don't feel like it's giving me a white cast. It's literally giving me a luminosity. So let's see. That is very pretty. So we see the difference. Much more luminous, much more like blur, soft, smooth consistency. And even though I am combination skin and I get that shine, I still always like a really pretty dewy finish to the base. So sometimes I'll go in with a translucent powder or a setting powder in the areas where I know I get some shine, but no matter what, I'm all about the glow. Like. I would probably honestly mix these two together, <laughs> do a layer of unseen and then glow screen and put my foundation on top. I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup, nothing crazy, just like a natural kind of everyday look. If I was going to work or going to a photo shoot or a wedding, this is kind of what I would do with the rest of my makeup. Go 
full screen unseen. Both look very, very pretty. Both look pretty similar. You guys tell me in the comments below if you see a difference. I definitely see more of that luminosity coming through on this side where this I just see just more reflection of just natural light. This is Kevin Aquan's Neo Bronzer in Sun Deep. I am going to use Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder and medium deep. This is the pressed version. And just tap. Just a little. Makeup is done. Again, we've got glow screen on this side, which I do feel like I see that really pretty luminosity coming through. I didn't do any highlight. And this is regular unseen. So just some other products that I am really enjoying by Super Goop. Next, we're going to talk about their glow stick. I like to wear the glow stick when it's like bare on fresh days where I'm not doing a lot. Um, but as you can see, it has a really nice reflection. And this is actually an SPF of 50 Amazonian oil, which gives a really healthy radiant skin finish. And you can use it after your moisturizer. You can use it on the chest, the shoulders. They're saying the cheeks, the bridge of the nose. So like if I wanted to right now, I could just take a little bit of this and it just gives that finishing, that wet, dewy look. And why not add it to both sides so that way we're even. So pretty. So yeah, this is something that I have really been enjoying. Other more of their body product is their glow oil. This is really, really nice. I am a body oil user. I like that it has a spray. This I use as like my daytime moisturizer, especially if I'm gonna sit outside a little bit or be outside. This is so nice and just gives really pretty reflection on the skin. This is also an SPF of 50 and this is water resistant. This is another product that I have really been enjoying from them. And last but not least is their Defense Refresh. So this, I you know, not many brands have the SPF plus uh, the makeup setting spray. The only other one I know is Kate Somerville, but this is really, really nice. This is an SPF of 40. Again, sweat and water resistant. This is going to set your makeup, but also, if you didn't know, we're supposed to be reapplying our sunscreen every two to three hours. So this is perfect to literally just take it and set the face. If you put makeup on the chest, Keeps the glow alive, resets and refreshes your SPF and your makeup. That is all that we were talking about. All these products that I mentioned today are chemical sunscreens. They're not physical, but Supergroup does make physical slash mineral sunscreens that are really, really nice. Mineral is always a different consistency because it's gonna, you know, might have a little bit more of a white thicker consistency because a physical sunscreen actually blocks the rays where the chemical sunscreen absorb the rays. So it's really dependent on what you like, what you wanna see in your sunscreen and how your skin reacts to the sun. Some people are more sensitive. So for me, being darker skin, I kinda already naturally have a barrier that protects me, but physical sunscreens I use, and I have mineral ones too. So I want to thank you guys for sticking with me, for watching my videos, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting. Let me know below if you are using any super good products, what are your favorites? If you have any questions about these products, of course you can always go on their website, but if you want just a little bit more personal feedback from me, leave a comment below. And thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, thumbs it up, thumbs it down. Do whatever you feel, okay? Peace out, Cub Scouts. I will see you guys soon.